in the last few weeks i have been getting emails asking whether after b form they should do a phd or a form d as i cannot answer each of those questions individually i have decided to post this video hopefully it will be useful for some of the students who are reviewing it Last weekend I received the email from the student and the first bullet point specifies what is stated in the email as you can note there are multiple mistakes in that single sentence and this type of request is extremely discouraging and you will never be successful making a request like that so please check your email for any errors and please be clear unless somebody knows you well there is no way in the world he can advise to you whether you should do anything with your career so let me just tell you what is phd i'm sure by this time you are aware that a phd can be in any field it can be in biology engineering literature religion politics sociology anything and we call all of them as doctor doctor means that they are an expert in that field this is different from than the medical doctor like md or a form d so if you are interested in doing a phd ask yourself this question first have you ever been curious about the world around you have you ever asked why something is happening if that answer to the question is no then i will probably avoid doing the phd phd is a large term commitment of time as well as resources because of a lost earning potential and if you are not passionate about it you cannot be very successful even if you end up completing a phd what it takes to get a phd So if you have answered to the first slide that yes I am a problem solver I am very curious about the world around you then maybe you can think of doing a phd so if you go that route do a literature review and identify the laboratories which are working on that project you should write a cover letter to the chief investigator in the laboratory explaining how your expertise background scale and knowledge can contribute to the success of his laboratory remember you are selling yourself by how him or her including you in the laboratory get him new grants and increase his the visibility of his laboratory if you have already published some work that is pretty much a prerequisite if you are interested in doing a phd and a phd program that cannot provide you living allowance and a tuition waiver is certainly not worth doing because it will take you 5 6 years to do a good phd and then if you are in life sciences you may need to do further post doc for 2 to 3 years before you can look for a job which will really pay you the living wages so you are better be prepared for a very long haul what is a form d then form d is a professional degree in pharmacy where you are going to use your knowledge and skills to deliver better outcome for a patient to be successful in the form d program you again need to be pretty smart academically strong and you also need to have empathy towards your patient and a sincere desire to provide good outcome for your patient the notion that the form d the clinical pharmacy is only relevant in a hospital that's what the notion which is prevailing in india is really both erroneous and limiting for the profession think of it a patient may spend one year of his life in hospital if he is treated at the highest standard in the hospital and then when he is outside the hospital he is not receiving good clinical pharmacy advice 
then what type of outcome you can expect from that type of pharmacy practice? I believe that a clinical pharmacy, pharmacy practicing, PharmD practicing at the patient, or anybody who may not be a PharmD degree but is a pharmacist, an expert on drug, then wherever the drug, the health and the patient converge, that is where the clinical pharmacy is happening. It could be in the hospital, it could be in the home, it could be in the pharmacy medical store, doesn't matter. The location is not important, it is the process which is important. Now, University of Finlay only has a PharmD program and we don't have a PhD. And on the emails I have been getting for the last few years, it's very discouraging. The quality of the writing has gone down. And it seems that nobody has told the Indian students how to write a professional letter. You cannot use the Twitter language in a professional request. If you have already done some pharmacy research and if you are thinking of presenting it in US, then certainly I can be of some guidance to you. If you are going to pursue a PhD or PharmD, it may not be a bad idea to present your result, res, results, research results outside the country, visit that country once, get an opportunity to interact with the institution representatives or the researchers with whom you like to work in the future. And then when you go back and apply for that institution, you have a better chance to succeed. Again, this is a short video but I hope it provides the foundation on which you can build on. Thank you very much. Have a good day.